Yes, that's right. You can now play Steam games on your Oculus Quest. And it's amazing. It's super easy to set up and I'm going to explain you how to do it. So let's get straight to it. Uh, for this trick, we are going to use a streaming app called Virtual uh, Desktop. This is an application that pretty much streams your computer screen to your VR headset. To do this, you need to follow two simple steps. Step one is getting the app on your Oculus Quest, straightforward. And then step two is installing the streamer software on your PC. The links you need to make the magic happen will be in the description below. When you're then set, you will be able to connect these uh, two programs together and then your computer screen should appear inside your headset. It is recommended to do all of this over a 5 GHz Wi-Fi connection for the best possible experience. As I said, you can uh, stream uh, Steam games to your Oculus Quest, but you can do exactly the same with the Epic Game Store, with Uplay, with Origin, with Battle.net. Uh, it doesn't matter, as long as you can make that platform pop up on your monitor and stream it to your VR headset, you are good to go. So let's, uh, let's give it a try and jump right into the metaphors. Let's -a go. Okay, so here we are in my, uh, in my private cinema. Welcome. I'm the only one uh, in, this, uh, in this place. And uh, yeah, I got the kingdom all by myself. <laughs> I can't complain. So let's, let's get uh, this party started. As you can see, I'm now in the big picture mode of uh, Steam. I can highly recommend this because it will make it easier to navigate and access your games. We're going to uh, launch Rocket League. And I can simply do that with my touch controllers. Very handy. Soon I will also be showing you the settings, what you can tweak. But first let's find out how well this uh, title performs. I'm going to make a match. There we go. So I'm going to put my controllers on the, on the desk now and I'm going to switch to my, my gamepad. It's an uh, Xbox One uh, controller to be more precise. Wish me luck. This is it. This is our moment. I'm going to do the kickoff. I'm just going to give you a quick heads up. I'm, I'm running VR desktop while recording on the Quest 2. So that's like pushing it to the, to the limit. And that might cause minor lag spikes while we're playing. But I can tell you overall, the frame rate is solid. It's running on 60 FPS. The latency is barely noticeable. And most importantly, it's all smooth. And that's what you need in a game like Rocket League. Very important. So let's say you're at home, you can play in the living room, you can play on the toilet, in the attic, or anywhere else, it's, uh, it's up to you. The possibilities are endless, because with, with the quest you're completely standalone, so you can just go wherever you want. You do need a computer with VR desktop, but it doesn't need to be hooked up to your, to your VR headset. So that, that's amazing. I want to give a big shout out to uh, Guy Godin, the developer of VR desktop for uh, constantly innovating and pushing us to the, to the next level. So yeah, that was just a quickie to kind of show you how well everything uh, works. And yeah, a game such as Rocket League, a fast-paced title, seems to be running just fine. So let's, let's head into the menu of VR uh, desktop now and see what we can tweak in terms of, uh, of settings. So when I press the menu button, I can now uh, hover over a couple of tabs. We have computers, environments, settings, and last but not least, uh, videos. So let's start with computers. Over here you can, uh, you can uh, uh, decide what PC you want to uh, connect to. And there is a lot of space, so if you want you can uh, select more than one. Uh, be my guest. It also shows you uh, uh, your connection. 
this, uh, this seems to be all righty tighty. Then environments, this is where you can select uh, the, the place you want to, uh, you want to go to, like, like this one for example. This is the, the home uh, theater. Let's, uh, let's go to the computer room. This is one of my favorites. It's so, it's so cozy and jam-packed with Oculus Easter eggs and conspiracies. Oh yes, oh yes. Check this out. And the best of all, since the quest is standalone, I can simply sit back and relax. Welcome to the future of VR. I can just move to whatever spot I want without any, any problems. And this is what you can do in every, every environment. Other, uh, other places uh, you, can, you can travel to are the auditorium. This one has one of the largest screens uh, on the entire app. It's, it's impressive, most impressive. It's ginormous. There's also the dark cinema. And it's, it's so cool when it starts lighting up when you, when you watch a movie or when you play a game. It's, it's adding up to the immersion, right? There's also the home cinema. You get free champagne, very nice. I think this is one of the most popular ones in VR, desktop. Ooh, the Matrix, Avatar, so many, so many classics. I don't want to be the party pooper here, but let me quickly plug in my, my uh, charge here because I, I can see that my quest is slowly running out of, uh, out of juice. It has about two to three hours battery, but with a virtual uh, desktop, you're of course eating up way, way more battery um, because I mean, you're, you're streaming in the end. So let's, let's go to uh, the space sky. Wow, <laughs> this, is, uh, this is stunning. Elon would be jealous. I think he should get his own environment in this, uh, in this app. So he can play video games on Mars in his little space station and also watch uh, Netflix. <laughs> that would be uh, the ultimate, uh, ultimate dream. It's so trippy to, to be not seeing a floor. It's like you're, you're floating, floating in space. So what you can do in all these, uh, these uh, uh, environments, only the top ones by the way, so the black void, the gray void, Purple Nebula and the Space Sky allow you to adjust your screen as well. So on top you can see these pictograms. If you hit size, you can make it huge or small. You can really get sucked into the screen, this is crazy. And then you can curve it a little bit, like that, yes. You can change its, uh, its distance, but I don't think I want to do that because it's it's, it's fine. The height, you can reset your view and you can also lock the screen to your head. And, and if let's say you're, you're laying in bed and you want to continue uh, playing video games or watch movies, then you can also move it this way and just do your thing. Yes, so you can grab the screen and move it to whatever spot you, you want. And those uh, folks were the environments. There is enough in this list for everyone to, uh, to enjoy. So that's just great. Let's, uh, let's move on to the settings. This is where the important stuff happens. Uh, we have all kinds of sections. The first one is called computers. Here you can auto connect to your PC. You can use an optimal resolution. This means that you can change your monitor's resolution to match the streaming resolution. And it is recommended. Then emulate gamepad on PC. Let's say you hook up your uh, controller to your Oculus app on your phone. Then be sure to tick this box before you start playing uh, a bunch of uh, games. Environment quality, this will allow you to higher the quality of your environment, but this will increase the battery usage. So I would recommend uh, to go for, for medium, but if you want, you can also go, uh, go low or high. But yeah, this, this eats up battery, trust me. So when we go to one of the environments, I can show you the differences. Just, just focus on, on the speakers. So we are starting with, with low. So this is low then medium and high. So 
So you can see some things change a little bit, but the differences are, are almost not noticeable. So even, even low um, should, should do it. Let me go back to, uh, well, Purple Nebula, why not? Then we have the video frame rate and for games this is so, so important. So medium and high is, is okay, but don't go for low. It's, it's something you just don't want to experience, trust me. When you have it on high, it will be 60 FPS. When it's on medium, it will be 30 FPS and low is 24. But 24 is more for uh, people that want to watch a movie. So medium or high, that's, uh, that's the range you want to be in. Then the video bitrate limit, a uh, lower limit can reduce lag on busy connections and a higher limit will increase image quality but also increase battery usage. So if you want to go for, for, the, for the high, uh, high level then you can but then you will, you will drain that, that battery of yours. So medium is, is the, the, the best option I would say. You could go for low, but if you play a fast paced the title, I'm afraid it's not going to look so good. So medium or high is, uh, is uh, the way to uh, go. Then dynamic lighting, screen content will light up some environments. This totally adds up to the immersion. I don't think you, uh, you should uh, mess around with this. Just keep it on enabled. Then audio, you can have background music when disconnected. It's like you're, you're having this, this waiting music that you, uh, that you usually have when you go to a, to a cinema, if you, if you know what I mean. Microphone pass through allows you to communicate with strangers or friends in the games you are, uh, you are playing. And then we have the input. You can uh, uh, interact with your desktop if you want by activating the controllers. You can automatically hide the, the cursor. Uh, this is uh, something that um, will come in handy because it's annoying if it's in the middle of your uh, screen. Thumbstick, vertical scrolling. Uh, you can also go for thumbstick, horizontal scrolling. And then the advanced options, you can uh, uh, allow yourself to uh, go for custom orientation in all environments and you can boost the clock rates too. But this is only for folks like me that want to uh, record or stream while they are using uh, this app. So yes, there you have it. That's the, that's the, the settings tab in a nutshell. You also have this info down here that shows you what the frame rate is like and also uh, if the CPU and the GPU are still doing, uh, doing okay. You can see that my Quest is working real hard uh, right now to make everything happen. So yeah, that's all. No, we also have info on uh, if we are uh, still having enough uh, juice inside our Quest and controllers and the time but usually when you're in VR you forget about what time it is and before you know it you take your headset off and it's 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 midnight yeah happens <laughs> videos is this mysterious tab that hasn't been revealed yet so stay tuned so there we go that was the entire uh, menu of VR uh, desktop if you want to see a full playthrough a walkthrough of what this app can do then again check out the link in the description below because I did a video on the go and where I watch a movie I play a game I go on social media etc I do everything but in this case we're only highlighting the games so let's play one more before we go I think we should go for my uh, my favorite favorite game of all time and that is Bioshock Infinite oh yeah Bring it on, baby. So I'm going to change my environment to the dark cinema. Oh yes, this is my jam. Okay, goodbye controllers. And they're gone. So in this case, I want to uh, play with my mouse and keyboard. And since I'm sitting behind my computer, I can, but let's say I'm on the road and I don't have access to my PC, then I will have to hook up my my Xbox or PlayStation controller. Or instead of that, I could use my, my touch, uh, touch controllers. Whatever floats uh, your boat. So let's uh, go on an adventure. Hello there. We're sorry to say that Monument Island is off limits. You've got to go. Workmen should proceed to the island by means of the skyline. 
time. The skylights, huh? Those things them coppers came riding in on back then. Gotta go fast. Hi. <laughs> oh, that never gets old. That was a that was a close one. I tried to uh, tried to burn him alive, but that didn't go so well. So again, without the uh, boost clock rate setting on, it should perform just fine. But right now, I'm pushing my quest to the limit. Because I'm streaming and I'm recording too. I believe I can fly. <laughs> down some doors. I'm not busting down any doors. You know what kind of swells live here? What's up? Thank you. <laughs> Until next time. Skyline up above. I'll get some elevation. If you have never played Bioshock before, go check it out. It's a must. So this is where I'm going to uh, wrap things up. I think it's time to now jump to the outro and end this video. Let's go. And that's about it. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. If you thought this uh, video was useful, then be sure to slam a like on this video. Let me know you care. And if you have any questions about this app, then be sure to drop them in the comments below. Happy to help. Again, you can not only stream Steam games to your Oculus Quest, you can do the same with Origin, Uplay, Epic Game Store, Battle.net, etc. It doesn't matter. Plus, if you want to watch movies or browse the internet, you can do that too. It's up to you. I will make sure there is a link in the description uh, below. This is an application that works with almost every headset on the market. So Pimax, uh, the upcoming Valve Index, uh, the Vive, the Rift, uh, the Windows Mixed Reality lineup, etc, etc. I could go on forever, but yes, uh, it's all in the description. Uh, thanks for watching once again, and now it's time for me to sign off, and as I always say, and I see you all uh, next time. See you in the metaphors. Bye-bye. See ya uh, later. <laughs>